Hey guys, what is going on? Welcome back to the portfolio. As always, I want to thank you guys for supporting the channel. On the last few videos, I've been asking for video suggestions and a few viewers were wondering if I have dived into the marijuana space, if I've jumped into any companies that are involved with either the production or distribution of marijuana. And I have jumped into a couple different companies just with a little bit of capital, really testing the waters with the fledgling marijuana industry. There are a few stocks I think will be well positioned moving forward in that space. One of those is up on screen here, Canopy Growth, CEGC, as well as the other stock I have in the portfolio, Aurora Cannabis, ACB. I think these are two of the most uh, well positioned companies with regards to long term viability in the market. There's a number of different companies. It's really uh, free for all at this point, but I think there's a few companies with backing by larger institutions, larger companies, I think would have the advantage moving forward, if not on their own, definitely as part of an acquisition. So the first stock here, Canopy Growth, this is probably one of the most well known stocks in this space currently. If we take a look at the bottom here. You can see this is a Canadian company, the production and sale of medical cannabis, but it's also in Canada reached into the recreational space as well. This is a very large company, as you can see in the middle here. Market cap, 7.48 billion. A lot of that has to do with its partnership with Constellation Brands, an alcohol uh, beverage company, Fortune 500 company. Currently owns about a 40% stake in the company. Recently infused $4 billion into the company in August. And that company has really taken off here, as you can see, over the past one year of trading. Uh, back in August here, you can see it's jumping from 27 28 I believe at one point over $50. Here spiking up almost to $57. So this company is definitely one of the uh, front runners with regards to the marijuana space. Again, because of its strong positioning from Constellation Brands, $4 billion investment. So it has a lot of flexibility uh, in the way it operates its company uh, with expansion uh, into the United States and other markets that probably in the next few years, five to 10 years down the road, will be opening up recreational sales as well. Uh, my investment so far, you can see in the middle here, is up 11.11%, $20.55. Did not put a substantial amount of capital in. 205.55 is the equity value currently, five shares. Take a look at the history on the bottom of the screen here. You can see I jumped in at $37 when it dipped down there. So, so far, so good with my investment. You can see Q4 2019 uh, for its uh, uh, actual earnings per share. Not quite sure how it's configuring that, but nevertheless, one of the leading companies in the marijuana space. Again, market cap 7.48 billion. PE ratio is NA because on the bottom there, Again, not quite sure if those statistics are correct with regards to earnings. It was negative earnings growth. But this is probably the best stock moving forward, again, because of the strong collaboration with Constellation Brands owning about 40% of the company. That's a Fortune 500 alcoholic beverage company and $4 billion worth of support from uh, that company alone. So, so far, so good with Canopy Growth. The other stock here is somewhat smaller, Aurora Cannabis, another Canadian company as well. If we take a look at the bottom, you can see again, just like CGC Canopy Growth, this is engaged in the production and distribution of medical cannabis. Again, also moving into the recreational space as well. Uh, up on top here, you can see it's a little bit smaller company, market cap 3.99 billion, PE ratio 72.673. So it does have positive earnings. If we take a look at the earnings graph, it uh, does not have an earnings graph here, I guess. Uh, so I'm not quite sure if I would trust all the statistics here on screen. Just like Canopy Growth here, you can see a very good performance the past one year up 194.43. Five years, you can see phenomenal performance, 1,500% plus. For the past one month, it is down a bit, 25.16%. In the past week, up 34.77%. I decided to uh, dive in when it was trending down there. On the bottom, you can see five shares at $7.57. This company, let's go ahead and take a look at the three-month graph, one-year graph. Uh, did, I think, spike up a bit. There was some talk about possibly Coca-Cola engaging in talks about a merger or at least uh, a collaboration with Aurora Cannabis, much like Constellation Brands and Canopy Growth. However, not much came of that. Uh, Coca-Cola at one point was considering developing cannabis-infused beverages for medical purposes. 
Uh, but later they remarked that they were only uh, studying a potential relationship with a cannabis company, Aurora Cannabis being that company, but nothing did happen and currently there are no plans for any sort of collaboration. But nonetheless, I think this is well positioned also, just like Canopy Growth, for expansion into the U.S. market as well as other markets as legislation changes around the world. Uh, and again, for my investment here, it is down a bit 1.19%, but just 45 cents in the red because I've only put in $37.40 into the stock so those are the companies i've jumped in so far aurora cannabis would probably be uh, number two and number one on the list here would be canopy growth i think this is the best stock to jump into longer term not quite sure about uh, shorter term uh, volatility i think there's a lot of uh, momentum trading here on the graph again getting up over 50 approaching 60 dollars. i don't think that's going to be sustainable over the shorter term here but i do think on a five-year time frame this should be up around $80 or so in the next five years. But a lot of that depends on changing legislation, especially within the United States, as well as this company's ability to uh, broaden this market outside of Canada and also the European market. So two very good stocks here. Don't quite sure know what I'm going to be doing moving forward. I probably will be putting more capital in at some point. but just testing the waters currently with Canopy Growth and Aurora Pharmaceuticals. So please let me know what you guys are doing in this space. I know there's a number of other companies out there, Kronos Group, Tilray, a number of other smaller companies. But again, it's kind of a free for all right now. I think as this space develops, there will be a lot of mergers, acquisitions by larger companies. It should consolidate into a few players. I think Canopy Growth will be one of those players. I think Aurora Cannabis down the road will be acquired by a larger company. But again, I think investment now would pay off in about five years or so. Over the shorter term, I do expect a lot of volatility. But either way, let me know what you guys are doing in this space. This has been my experience so far. Kind of that out in the video. Again, if you guys have any great video ideas, please let me know. Always looking for new video ideas to put out. And if you guys enjoy the content on the channel, feel free to like, share, and subscribe. Until the next video, we'll see you then.